Hello and welcome back to the Netball Europe Open Challenge here live at the National Sports Centre in Douglas in the Isle of Man. Oh, if you missed the last game, where were you? It was so intense. 39-36 to Gibraltar against the Isle of Man. It ebbed and flowed, had everybody on the edge of their seats and was an absolute corker. As we said at the beginning, there's eight teams in this competition, so there's two groups. Group A being the Isle of Man, Cayman Islands, Gibraltar and Switzerland. Group B being the UAE, Republic of Ireland, Malta and Israel. Everybody in each group plays each other and then on Saturday we have matches across the groups and then on Sunday is the final placing matches. So even though that result fell short for the Isle of Man, they could still make that gold medal match on Sunday. So nothing is lost yet. However, we have another fantastic game for you from Group A coming up right now on the court warming up. It's the Cayman Islands versus Switzerland. The Cayman Islands are part of the Invitational Tournament so they can win and medal in the Invitational Tournament, not in the Europe Netball Open Challenge competition. However, all their score ca scores count in the Invitational. Switzerland, however, are obviously fighting out for both competitions, so this is super key for them. We haven't seen Switzerland take on the Cayman Islands before. This is a fresh matchup, so it'll be really interesting to see what we see. We had Cayman Islands here in 2019, and they had a great tournament. They came middle of the table then, so it'll be interesting to see how they perform against Switzerland. So it's all to play for and all coming up on your screens next. So stay exactly where you are, and very soon we will be back with the starting lineups. Welcome back to the National Sports Centre here in Douglas in the Isle of Man. Up on court for you right now is going to be the Cayman Islands versus the Swiss Lynx. I am Natalie Pepperell and I'm joined in commentary by Lauren Brown who is the performance analyst and the social media manager for the UAE. Welcome Lauren. Hello Natalie. Are we in store for a great game today? Absolutely, that's if we can hear each other over the cowbells. Yeah, the bells are firmly in the building, that's for sure. 
So the starting sevens for you for the Cayman Islands at goal shooter is Violis Wright at goal attack, Deidrian Gardner at wing attack, Josephine Fringpong at centre, Catherine Gao at wing defence, Ariana Grant at goal defence, Nikesha Lynch and at goalkeeper, Nikisha Lewis. The coach for the Cayman Islands is Lynette Monteith. For the Swiss Lynx, at goal shooter, Amy Rye. At goal attack, Martina Morelles. At wing attack, Pasqualina von Lampen At centre, Sarah Schwanhäuser. At wing defence, Vicky Rideborn. At goal defence, Iris Martinelli. At goalkeeper, Claudia Alma. And the coach for Switzerland is Vanessa McCurlin Naylor. Your umpires today are Nadine Pardo Zamet, Sarah Drake, and the reserve is Laura Lovett. So, Lauren, we haven't seen these teams play against each other before. We saw Cayman Islands in 2019. Switzerland weren't playing in that competition, but played last year. So, it's going to be really interesting to see this matchup today. Yeah, definitely. Um, the Cayman Islands are definitely someone we need to watch. Uh, they bring a new style of game to the court, really. Um, so I'm sure it's going to be an exciting one for us. Yeah, mistake there early on by the Cayman Islands. Gives a backline throw into Alma. Oh. oh, and a turnover to the Cayman Islands straight away. Catherine Gao played on the court in 2019 and was absolutely vital for that team. So good to see her back on the court today in centre. Alma and ride born combining nice passage of play there by switzerland i know i was on the bus with them on the way here we have a few nervous nervous people in the building <laughs> so i'm sure they'll be happy to get the ball down their end now quite a young team here for switzerland a mix of youth and experience yeah i think it's great for them to bring the youth through and give them that experience at uh, an adult level um, and just give them that, that exposure so they can carry on playing and getting better and better as they go. Some really nice long balls through here for the Cayman Islands. Oh, oh beautiful lovely. pass. Oh, unlucky, just out of court there. Oh, but through the legs of right. That's it, girls, just keep that ball. Martin keep possession. Struggling to connect with Von Lanth and Nana. But it is a Switzerland sideline. Oh, lovely cheeky bounce pass there between mm. Morellis and Reed. Switzerland are going to need to do that against the Cayman Islands with their long rangey arms. They're going to need to find new ways to get the ball around them. Lovely space by Gao. Opens up the court. Obstruction call there against Ryborn. Right on the shot. No, it's a pass. Not quite in as of yet. Oh. Offside Not there. Oh, offside. Wasn't quite sure what happened. Good hustle between the two centres. Schwanhauser and Gao. Oh, great ball there. Oh, just falls short for Reed. And we've seen quite a few times the early shots just struggling to go in and maybe a bit of nerves. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure there's some nerves out there today. As soon as we get that first one in, I'm sure they'll settle. There's the cowbells. Swiss Lynx always bring great supporters and noisy ones. Noisy ones, all dressed in red. 
Good defence by Gao. Cayman Islands just finding some good space through court, getting the ball down. They use the width really well, don't they, to open it up? Yeah. Hope this one goes in. Oh, just off the back. We had Josem, a um, male netballer from the Isle of Man, tweet in to say that the posts are extremely bouncy. Yeah. Yeah. I think our girls found that earlier today. Oh, well oh, read yes. by Martinelli. Great intercept. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the umpire in us coming out. Lovely change direction. Great the... split there as well from the goal attack. Yes, in it goes. There we go. One under the belt. Let the nerves settle. Good job, Gardner. Good defensive centre there by the Cayman Islands. Three over. Effective. I know as a wing attacker, struggle to get through that. Look at that stretch. Mm. Good intercept. Good tracking by Ryborn, but needs to be a bit more disciplined. She's been pinged a couple of times now. Mm. Switzerland will want to play 7v7. Nice, just finding the circle edge there to feed. Oh, a good intercept there by the wing defence. Yeah, really good pressure by Switzerland at the back, just forcing, not allowing mm. that ball to come in meant that they had to keep it moving and eventually the turnover comes. Yeah. Good arms. Again, they just need to work it around those arms. It's not going to go over them. Oh, Claudia Alma. Wow. Last time I nicknamed her Gandalf. You <laughs> shall not pass. <laughs> I think it's stuck. I quite like that. <laughs> oh, lovely shot there. Morales, one of the younger players. She was 14 at the last competition. I'm not sure if she's 14 or 15 now, but excellent goal by her. Mm-hmm. Cayman Islands playing it well between their mid-court players around the edge, just waiting for that opportunity into the circle. And they're going to have to do that with the defensive pressure of uh, Martinelli and Armour, aren't they? Definitely. Good take. Good by Reed playing the top to Von Lanthan Dinana. Lovely ball over. Oh, oh well held. In. Oh, that's unlucky there. Lovely space found. Gardner will shoot it. Oh. Great chase down. So far, quite an even ball game, but yeah. very low scoring. Yeah. It's just been that back and forth, hasn't it? Not quite being able to get it through the net. Some fabulous defending from both teams as well. Reed takes the shot. Yeah, and in it goes. It's an even game, two goals all. Nice yeah. ball. Lovely confident shot by Gardner. She missed a couple before, so good for her. Siobhan Hauser opting to go back to Rydborn. Finds Pascalina on the edge of the D. Up and in. Textbook centre pass there for Switzerland. And there's the bells. The crowd are happy. Oh, 
Good pressure by Von Lanth and Denena at the back. Yeah. Cayman Islands there just struggling to find a free player, really. Using the three seconds well. Oh. On all sorts of trouble there with the balance. Falls into Switzerland's hands. Martinelli links with Rybourne. Links with Pascalina. They're good on their timing at the moment, Switzerland, on yeah, those drives. Definitely. There we are. Beautiful feed into Reed and a very nice shot. Chance to really push on now and go ahead. Yeah, they'll be happy with that one. Good centre. Oh. Oh, unlucky there for Lynch. There's too much on it for Sean Heuser. Straight through that middle again with the Cayman Islands. They're not struggling to come through the centre court, are they? No, absolutely not. Shot. They'll want to score off their own centre pass. That's two breaks now, one after the other. Down on one foot. Lovely ball over to Gardner. Yeah. Gardner reading that well, just getting on the end of it. I don't think she was quite ready there. Absolutely, they were all in line, weren't they? There was no real depth, so it had to go. Oh, good decision not to send that. Yeah. Gal was coming on the fly. What a lovely shooting. Morales' favourite player is Sophie Drakeford Lewis. It's kind of a resemblance there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and shot there as well. This is another goal for goal game. Yeah, it's going to be an exciting one, I'm, I'm sure about that. Lovely ball, top D. Great stretch there by the goalkeeper. And all sorts of pressure put on Reed on that shot. Yeah. Good defensive pressure there by Switzerland. They just slowed the Cayman Islands down through that middle. Defensive pressure, making the ball pop off the back there. Oh, unlucky guy, Bourne. Great take. Yeah. Oh. Good athleticism to tip it in, but it falls to Alma. Oh, beautiful yeah. through court by Switzerland. Well held. in the last few games about how much improvements we're seeing in these teams and yeah. this is a much improved Swiss performance here. Yeah. I think the standard of netball all over the world is just upping and upping. I have to say the, the youngsters coming through nowadays, their agility, their athleticism, they can get on every ball. The speed is just fab. A rebound again by Gandalf at the back, <laughs> also known as Alma. Good decision to go back there, just work it to the edge. Yeah, some clever play here by Switzerland and having more than one offer. Lovely shooting. And their centre pass, they'll be really happy with that. They just need to look after this one. So easy to save from commentary, look after the ball. <laughs> Especially when we've not got those rangy arms over us. Mm. Reed will take the shot. Ooh. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky by Morales as well. She did a good effort to try and keep that in. Yeah. 
Oh. Oh, contact against Lynch then. It's a two on one in the circle. It's a big ask to get it in straight away. Good option by Morales to come out. Oh. Oh. Those arms again. Yeah, Lewis all over it. Lovely drive down the side there. And a lovely change of direction by Fung Pong at wing attack. Good. Great play there by the Cayman Islands. Like break of centre, plays break of centre, plays break of centre. Very true. Oh, oh well read. That's why I called again now. Yeah. <laughs> Rightly named there. Beautiful take. And they've played it well through court there. Kept the ball, kept possession. Oh, I just jinxed it. Right, well, all right, she's still got it. Pasqualina. Oh, just tipped by Lynch. Sorry, Lewis. I think it was Lewis that tipped that. Lovely ball. Seven all. Oh my goodness. We've just come from one intense ball game to another intense netball game. I know, my heart is racing still from the last one. <laughs> <laughs> it's not over yet. We've got another three quarters. <laughs> so, so far, what's your thoughts on both teams? For Cayman Islands, I'll hit you with them first. Um, so, great defensive pressure. The arms, again, Switzerland just need to find a way around that especially into the circle. They're f Switzerland are feeding from the circle edge, but Cayman Islands just have that upper hand with those arms, picking it off at the back. I think when we're getting down to the Cayman Islands end on the circle edge, we're just struggling to get the ball into the shooters. It's going on the floor, a um, couple of loose balls in there, which, as, as, as we know, the goal goalkeeper, Gandalf, <laughs> yeah. is picking it off. So they just need to watch that in the next quarter. Um, Swiss links playing really, really well actually. Um, I think this is possibly the best I've seen in a while. Um, keeping ball through court, some nice quick passages of play to the, the circle edge and capitalising on it. Great shooting down there by the youngsters. Um, and yeah, impressed. So more of the same potentially from both teams. Um, a bit more defensive pressure I think from both teams I'd like to see in terms of denying the space yeah I think both attacking yeah. sides are at the moment being able to go where they want to they are definitely through that that mid court area uh, the ball's just coming through far too easily from both sides really don't forget you can get in touch with us hashtag Europe netball we would love to hear your thoughts uh, do tweet and let us know what you think uh, Chris Obin one of the regular umpires who I think is on Super League duty this weekend um, has messaged in just to say wow what a game for the game four against Gibraltar versus the Isle of Man I think that's um, pretty much all of our thoughts yeah it was just mental um, and this one looks as though now it's potentially set to play out the same way indeed we don't want to jinx it too soon though no I'd quite like it to be a close one if I'm honest keep us on our toes absolutely fantastic for spectators not so good for the coaches I'm sure no <laughs> no I'm sure the coaches by the end of this weekend are going to have no voice left. Cayman Islands and Switzerland both play in this game today. They both play twice tomorrow, so Switzerland have to take on Gibraltar and the Isle of Man, and so do the Cayman Islands. Um, you can see on your screen there, that is the lineup for the rest of today and for tomorrow. Saturday and Sunday is all dependent on when, um, sorry, not when, where teams finish. So we will obviously update you with that as soon as we know. But it's all to play for at the moment and all to play for in this game. It Could go indeed. any which way. It is indeed. A couple of changes to bring you for the Cayman Islands. We have Latoya Anderson coming on at wing defence. Deidreanne Gardner goes from goal attack to wing attack. And then Ashley Logan is coming on at goal attack. You surprised at changes so quick? Um, not necessarily. I think they were struggling to get the ball into the shooters. Um, they were getting it to circle edge. They just weren't 
able to, to get it in and get the shot up. We saw at the start of that quarter there are a few missed shots. Um, so I'm not surprised that the, the goal attack position switch over there. Um, wing defence, I think that's probably what we were talking about, that pressure through the middle of the court, just stopping the run through of Switzerland, getting it down. Absolutely. So at seven all, both teams take back to court. Quick scan around. I haven't heard any changes for Switzerland and it looks like they are staying the same for this quarter. So coach is obviously pleased with that performance so far by them. Oh. A good start by the Cayman Islands, putting pressure on that. Let's see if they can take it all the way through this time. Oh, lovely ball placement. Oh, well held. Good pressure by Martinelli, but not enough. Good defensive centre pass there by the Swiss Links. Out. Oh, a lovely ball, straight over the top. Oh, footwork. Is that footwork. I think it was a footwork call there. I think she just went to split and landed the back foot first. Unlucky there for Wright. Reed and Martinelli on the same side. Have we got a new wing attack there for the, the Swiss links? No, it's still Pasqualina, Von Lanth and Danella. Oh. coming quite deep yeah good pressure middle channel not as easy there for the Cayman Islands no. so potentially something that the Swiss have talked about at quarter yeah. time keeping them high and wide Ooh. oh unlucky great chase down there but just gone a bit far hadn't it yeah Schwanheiser really chasing it down but like you say just a little bit too much on it and I think it was the fact that Martinelli was just off balance. Oh, another lovely shot by Logan. She was confident there. She took the step and put it up. Potentially a clever change there by the Cayman Islands. So far it's paying off. Yeah. Lovely backspace by Pasqualina and well weighted for Morellis. Great lean by the goalkeeper. Not enough though. Great take. Lovely. Logan, Shot. again. She's sinking those goals. She's confident as well. Just to take that step forward. She puts her arms up and it pops in. Oh, I'm looking at her gal coming through. Almost gifted that ball. Well worked to the circle edge. Oh. Well picked up there by Ryan. Yeah. And even after all of that running, keeping the ball in, she's able to just get that shot in. Yeah, well played, Logan. A little gap hedging out now here for the Coney Islands, but wide ball. It's a good turn. Delayed takeoff again. Yeah, footwork call. Good spot. Thanks. <laughs> oh, you were talking to the umpire. <laughs> Good hustle. That contact called against Morellis. Good front hold there by the centre. Nice, easy front ball. Right, takes the shot, just oh. doesn't sink for her. Rideborn to Martinelli. Back to Rideborn. Ball placement not quite spot on there for the Swiss links. They've held on to it though. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> oh! 
tussle. Great defence by the Cayman Islands, just tipping that ball now. Kevin saw the space there, didn't she? She was saying, get over to that side. She knew where she wanted to place that ball. Oh, footwork. Again, it'll be a pass. Good touch on it there. Oh, nice hand as well by Martinelli. Lovely. Good width by Gout. Cayman Islands really good at playing it from centre to wing attack, from centre to wing attack until they find that ball into the circle. Shot. And it's not easy to do that, is it? It takes no. a lot of patience, but just the, the to be able to relax, the psychology of being able to relax into that is quite difficult. Yeah, just know, trust your partner. We can pass this ball as much as we want until we find that ball into the circle. Possession. Lewis and Lynch working well at the back to shut down the Swiss attack. I think she was quite confident to shoot that then. I think there was just a call from behind that made her doubt how far out she was. Yeah. And then a great, great run through. Just a fumble by Schwanhoiser. Time called. I thought she was moving her hand about funny Ashley yeah. Logan. I think that's an actual injury. There's also some changes. Vanessa McKellar and Naylor's on her feet to change something for Switzerland as well. Yeah. We see Deidre Ann Garner going back to that goal attack position and following by Alma. Well in there. I'm not sure who is on at centre. As soon as we find out, we will let you know. Both centre court players for the Swiss links are getting caught in each other's space at the top. For Switzerland, Pascalina von Lanthen Dinana has gone into the centre position. One turnover. Good option just to go back there. I don't think she was quite confident to give that first ball. Oh, oh, what an goodness. intercept. Lovely ball, lovely quick hands by Gal. Just a slight obstruction there. And it goes. Great play down the right hand side by the Swiss there to circle edge. Yeah. It's Alana J that's come on a wing attack for the Swiss team. And just to confirm as well that Josephine Fringpong has come back on at wing attack for the Cayman Islands in those changes that we just had in that quarter. Oh, long ball. Oh. Wing 
attack contact there, I think. I think Lucky to come away with that one, Ryborn. They were all running in the same mm. space. Good split between one defence and goal defence. Oh, just a late takeoff. There's been a couple of those from Martinelli. Mm. It's a difficult one. Lovely backup. Yeah. To pocket, to circle edge. Oh, <laughs> there she goes again. Boom. Somebody get the girl a star. <laughs> <laughs> She's definitely putting some doubt in the Cayman Islands' minds as they get into circle edge. Oh. They're just holding onto that ball a little bit longer. But the other side, that rebound by Lynch. Yes, thank you. I'll have that. Gow on the pickup. Long ball. Clever to wait for Fringpong to arrive. Your hands oh. everywhere. Yeah, Gao didn't look impressed at that. No, she didn't. Oh, lovely ball by Gao there. Straight over the top. Trust in her goal attack that she's going to get that. And lovely split, and in it goes. Just like that. Just like that. Oh. No. oh no! Few of those. Well picked up by Van Lanth and Dinana. Lovely mid drive. Oof. Yeah, you kind of felt that football was coming. Yeah. Everyone was just a bit, a little bit rushed, wasn't it? Yeah. Sometimes it does just take that one person to hold onto the ball, use their three seconds. And we've seen that quite a lot in many of the games that we've watched. We highlighted Joelle Moreno as somebody that would just calm things down and Ashley Hall tends to be the captain, doesn't it, in the yeah. team that just takes, takes control of that. Just knows when their team needs to take a breath. Carly Lewis, she really she yeah. does that brilliantly. I know that's one of her, her main pointers for this weekend, just keep calm through the middle. Oh, well read at the back by Lewis. She saw that all day long. Oh, great fight there. Lovely ball just to get that whip. Let everyone take a little bit of a reset and go again. Yeah, she just just jumped in there. Oh, short for Reed. Shakes her head and rolls her eyes. Time called. Up, Doesn't seem like a forced change. Oh no, she is getting some tension. She is, yeah. I think it looks like her ankle. Well, she played really well through it. She um, did. We didn't notice. No, had no idea. It's Catherine Sturgis that's come on in that goal defence position for Switzerland. Just this gap opened up quite significantly now for the Cayman Islands. Switzerland have only managed to score two this quarter. The Cayman Islands are on eight. So that leaves it at 15 9 and they at 15 10. In the way after an injury or a few changes, it just seems to mess up your flow a little bit through the game. Oh, I shouldn't get there, but it did. It did. She saw it. Gardner opting to go back out to Gal. Not afraid to use that backup option. Good hands again by Alma. Yeah, oh, foot just out the back there. That's unlucky. Good 
good middle. Swiss using their defence through the middle really well here. Oh, lovely. Putting a body in the way there, Reed. on every ball by the Swiss links there. A good move as well by the Cayman Islands. They move the ball around that three foot mark well, don't they? Yeah. But that's what pressure causes. Exactly. It builds and builds, just like a pressure cooker. And that's not what you want when you're putting the ball into your shooters either. They want to just get that nice easy ball, relax up into the shot. Oh, yeah. great defence. Great hands. Lovely timing on that drive by Reed. Oh. Just needs a bit more on the shot. A little bit of bend and flick, isn't it? Yeah, they're all falling just a little bit short for her at the moment. That leaves the second quarter at 15 10, so it ends as an 8 3 quarter for the Cayman Islands, which is quite significant after the first quarter was 7 all. Yeah, yeah, I think those that injury time and the changes just stopped that flow of the Swiss, I think. Well, Logan did a really good job coming on at goal attack because she was just sinking the goals, wasn't yeah, she? Yeah, exactly. You can see there on your screen the Swiss supporters all in red with the cowbells, they're the ones that you can hear. Very and, loud. <laughs> and lots of changes actually for the Swiss links. I mean, there was changes, there wasn't any changes coming into the quarter and then quite a few during that quarter yeah. the injury time. Do you, I mean, yeah. do you think that was a good shout or it's difficult? I'm not so it? sure. It's difficult to say. Um, sometimes coaches make that call and it pays off and then sometimes it just doesn't. And I think they've made that call and it just hasn't quite paid off this time. So I wonder if during this half-time break they're going to make a few changes or they're just going to let their team settle and play into it. I mean, there's, it's, you know, it's still only five goals, isn't it? But really low scoring um, half, actually. But it is. that's credit a lot to the defensive pressure on both sides. Definitely. The ball's been pinging off the back either end. The pressure throughout the court is building and building and bu building. Like you said, a pressure cooker. Um, and then both circle defensive players on both ends just picking it off so well. Um, some lovely takes through by the Cayman Islands. Athleticism, taking it high and then just landing and being able to control the ball to the next player. Um, it's been some great netball, if I'm honest. Absolutely. And a bit more pressure on the through court as well from um, Switzerland on the Cayman Islands. So you said quite rightly in the first quarter there was some really nice play through the middle channel for yeah. Cayman Islands. Not as easy this time for them to use that. They're still throwing some nice long balls through the court, yeah. but not necessarily being able to use that middle channel as much. No, they're having to take a couple more passes through the middle, which is just disrupting them. I think they like to give that nice long ball and get it off quickly, then play it to circle edge. And the Swiss have just disrupted that um, through that last quarter. Both teams are playing again tomorrow. They're playing twice tomorrow. Switzerland take on Gibraltar 11. Before that, Isle of Man take on the Cayman Islands um, at 9. So both on early matches and then both on later on in the day tomorrow as well. So this is their only match for today, but two tomorrow. Um, so lots more competition for them. Yeah, I mean, how much does it? You've obviously been involved with UAE, so you see the prep. Yeah. How much do you have to focus on saving legs and saving yeah. energy over a tournament like this? Majorly, and and player welfare throughout a tournament is huge. So just making sure you're recovering well, refueling well, and I know from from the UAE perspective that is something we try and focus on massively because if you don't fuel your body right, you're not going to play well, and if you're playing consecutively twice in a day. I mean, it's a long, it's a long old game. If you've got to sit at centre or wing attack or wherever it may be for two whole games, um, so yeah, two games tomorrow for both of these teams is going to be a toughie. They're going to have to think about how they're tactically going to play it, who, who they're going to rest at times. I'm sure we'll see some injury time. Try and pull players off and try and let them rest. Um, 
but yeah, it, it's tough when you have two games in one. We've got two games today, so the girls are currently having a nap. <laughs> they've had a big old lunch, they've had an ice bath, and now they're, they're resting and recovering. Um, you know what, before you said that, we were talking about it being tough, but now you said nap, big lunch, <laughs> and, <laughs> and restaurant. The only thing I didn't like about that was ice, ice bath. bath. <laughs> you should have heard some of them getting in that ice bath, oh my goodness, but no. Um, really important for your body to refuel and rest um, and mentally as well it's it's draining even if you've not stepped onto court mentally draining cheering on your team getting that hype up to a game you then have this kind of sudden low and you just need to re-energize build it up but also two games in one day I think it's so difficult to to know when for coaches to start to build your players up at the right time before a game you don't want to do it too early but you definitely don't want to do it too late and at half time think oh goodness they've not quite got a hold of this game yet because they're not on it um, so yeah it's a toughie I mean I do not envy the coaches throughout these weekends because they have a tough old job managing players managing bodies managing young and old and physio advice and the advice of whoever it may be they they've got it all on the on the weight of their shoulders absolutely and we talk about the that you mentioned about being hyped up for the game for those that you know don't play on court but then focusing throughout the game and then having all that pent-up energy and I guess that's similar for the coaches you know hyped Definitely. up they can't run around to expel that adrenaline yeah. it's just pumping and then yeah. they've got the same again yeah they've probably a few coffees down as well so the caffeine <laughs> is is running through the veins um yeah it's, it's tough it's tough on everyone in those squads and that's why you've got to come together as a team and just build each other up and and be able to say right we're on it now it's game time and everyone will have their own way of building themselves up so also managing also oh, you like to be on your own and you like to play a game and have fun and laughs and yeah it, it's a it's a tough old thing sport so and as we head into mental health week you know we've there's things all over social media at the moment about the, the importance of netball in mental health and it really is so, so important, isn't it, to yeah. be that team and you see that, they, they're there for each other, they're yeah. for each other. What a fabulous sport for that. It is, it is, definitely. Throughout all walks of life as well, you can be playing netball and you can have your team, whether it's walking netball or just back to netball at that level, all the way up to here, it's like... You, we're all one team you know that as soon as you step on a netball court whoever's there with you is your teammate and you can rely on them for whatever it might be if you've had a rubbish day you might want to have a cry to them <laughs> whatever it might be absolutely so anyone out there struggling don't forget don't suffer in silence and uh, your netball family have got you back uh, you can always ping us a message on twitter you can ping us a message if you're struggling or you can just bring us a message to tell us what you think about these games yes, because oh my have. goodness they've been amazing they have we do love to hear from you and we will try and find the answers to any of your questions so if you do have some please ask this is the time to find out what happens in international council what happens in international netball yeah and what these teams and players go through all the way from performance analysts yeah uh, to coaches <laughs> to umpires um, i'm quite happy to pin anyone down and ask them questions so yeah Definitely. I'm quite happy to try and answer the question, so I don't know if it's the right answer, but I'm, I'm here, I'm ready to try. They are getting back in their huddles. We will see if there's been any changes. The cowbells are going absolutely yeah. nuts. The Swiss, nice loud chanting cheer there, building themselves up, like we're saying, hyping up for that next quarter. They're ready to go. Third quarter, often a make or break quarter for teams, so let's see what happens. The Swiss certainly need to come back to make a dent in this deficit now if they're going to come out with the win yeah. in the end. And you know, five goals really isn't that much. No, two turnovers. No. Because it's their centre pass. Can't see any changes oh, at the moment. turnover straight away from the Cayman Islands. They've come out strong and ready and raring to go. Lovely middle. Oh, I think there is a change for the Cayman Islands. I do believe that's Ashley Logan back on in that goal attack position. It is. And we have a change at goal shooter as well. I'm not sure what that is yet, but I will let you know. Oh, 
nice quick out there by the wing attack. It's Alexis Karayas at the goal oh. shoot position. She's okay, she's up. She's so up. Alexis Karayas at goal shooter for the Cayman Islands and Ashley Logan at goal attack. So a new combination for them. Alexis Karayas will take a time. It's gonna be there, that line. Lovely offer by Karayas. Yeah. yeah. And a lovely shot. Oh, oh. nice ball. Well seen. And what a drive to Circle Edge. Yeah. Yes, Reed. Oh. She nods. That's the one. That's yes. the one. <laughs> Thank you very much. She's remembered what it feels like. Oh, good pressure there by the switch. Straight off the side. This could be just what they need to start that run of a few goals. Oh, just a fumble oh, by no. Von Lanth and Dinana. Oh, nearly a fumble the other side as well. Oh, lovely, lovely quick ball. release. In it goes, nice and cleanly swish. As a shooter, you always want to hear that swish. <laughs> Emphasis on the sh. <laughs> Good backup by Rideborn. Both teams working it well to circle edge. And again, just bounces out for a read. Yeah. She's got quite a flat shot, which is really hard mm. on bouncy posts. Yeah. You kind of want to make that candy cane arch shape before it drops straight through. Oh, great hands. Great hands. Grimpong using the back up. Gao finds Logan. Ooh. going for the long shot. Great rebound though. Third attempt by Logan, just a flick of the arm. Yeah. <laughs> That's obviously how you do it, just flick your arm and yeah. shoot. She just needed a little reminder. This is what I'm trying to do. Oh, oh. Oh no, is that her ankle? She's all right, she's running off. Oh, such a nice release that yeah. Gal has. You just see those hands flick. Nice through court here. Catherine Sturgis has come on well for Switzerland in the goal defence position. Lovely friend. Good split. Yes. Morales has certainly scored quite a few of her shots. Yeah. Drenched by Sturgis. Oh, great take. Unlucky. Those flat lateral balls over the circle don't work so well when you've got some good no. defenders on the edge. Yeah. You need to drive into that pocket if you're going to send it. Morales, will she shoot from here? Yeah. Oh, and it pays off. That is a switch shot if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Quick release to Circle Edge. Gal finds Frinkon. Feet of Alma. Oh, it didn't come off the feet of Alma. It must have come off Karias. Sturgis finds armor again. Just a little tussle there for the ball. It's a good matchup between Gao and Pasqualina. Yeah. Good pressure there oh. by the wing defense. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she's still smiling though. She is. No doubt she's now just going to pick one off. 
Possibly one of the nicest uh, netball players you could ever meet, Claudia Alma. Smiles and talks to everyone, even when she's supposed to be being fierce. <laughs> Good through court by Ryborn. Sturgis finds Von Lanth and Dinana. Uses the floor just to get around those arms. Good patience. That's it. Find that space. Oh, oh no. They keep possession though. They're going to get another shot at it. Jay opting to go back. Just not quite hitting circle edge. No. At the moment. They're just not quite comfortable to feed it in from that far back. Oh. Yeah, good shot by Reed. Seems to be stuck at this five goal difference. Yeah. Two on one. Let's see what they can do with this one. Oh no. Just a wing attack offside there at the top. Good spot by the umpire. It's often hard to flick your eyes on the umpire up to that circle edge when the ball's in the circle. Karias, great offer. Oh. Lucky. Good rebound by Sturgis though. Pressure through the middle there from the Cayman Islands. Swiss just managing to easily place the ball into each other's hands. Oh no, footwork. It's just the small errors, isn't it? It is. Frim Pong, Karias. Oh, Alma. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> Smiling as she does it as well. Oh, lovely circle edge. Oh, good hustle by the Cayman Island defence. Both on the floor, both back up. <laughs> See if the Swiss can disrupt that play from the middle now. Nice drive through by the wing attack. Oh, shit work. Gow, bless her, hands on hips. It must be like, really, ladies, that's another court sprint for me as centre. Yeah. <laughs> I know that feeling all too well. Oh, oh, what a jump. Get out. She's just timed that perfectly to get her fingertips to it. I can see Alma's got some competition for the work, the name of Gandalf. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely pick up by Rideborn. Just need to steady it down. A couple of fumbles. And I could to get away with that ride, Bourne. Her fingertips yeah. were over the line. Yeah. Great ball then. Oh, it's coming back. Oh, lovely Morales. I love how defenders look down at their feet when they're close to the I know. Who, me? Me? <laughs> what, me? I was too close. No, I wasn't. No way. <laughs> that 10 centimetres was definitely a, a metre. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good pressure again. Oh, Just a disconnect there between Fring Kong and. Oh. Change. Just doing this to challenge us, I'm sure. I'm sure they are. The goal difference has gone down to four, though, so. Mm, I wonder if that's a tactical one just to stop that flow of the Swiss again. Oh, I nearly got hands to it straight away as well. Von Lanthan, Dinana, trying to find Ryborn. It's good from Ryborn to get hands to that. Yeah. Oh, oh just no. Disconnect between Jay yeah. and Danana. Oh, oh, lovely ball into Logan. Logan just had the space there. 
Lovely. They make it back to five. Length centre pass though. Just a breaking call, I think, by one of the defenders. Just to confirm, it's Gardner that came back on to the goal shooter position. She did start at goal attack for the Cayman Islands. Oh, looking at Alice. Oh, she's up. Team up. Teammates helping her up. She's okay. Will she shoot? Yeah. Yes, she will. Hands up from the Swiss bench and a round of applause. They enjoyed that one. From distance. Lovely. Great change by Logan. Finds Gardner. Oh no. Just bounces but managed to get the rebound. And again, go on. Oh, well up, Alma. And a good pick up by Sturgis. Ride born back to Sturgis in the middle. Ooh. A gift because they were struggling to get that through. Yeah, they were. Oh, how did oh. that end up with Reed? Volleyball through three, through three, three players. Ooh, that was difficult, wasn't it? <laughs> you just invented a tongue twister. A tongue twister. The Swiss have brought it back to three. This is definitely how they would want this quarter to yeah. look. Unfortunately, she was right into the post. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. I'm not surprised at that actually, because yeah. with no one over her, Morellis has yeah. been shooting those, and Amy Reed's just that little bit taller to be there for the yeah. rebounds. That's um, very selfless from Reed there to pass that shot off. She had a hand to it. She just needed the other one. <laughs> <laughs> There's some absolute corkers in commentary stone. I'm going to write that one down. <laughs> in fact, I think it's a UAE thing. Oh, is it? Suzanne. Great shot down the other end. Yeah, Suzanne's was spent it before she earned it. <laughs> You've obviously heard that before, by the way. <laughs> oh dear, I live with Suzanne and I'm sure she said that exact quote to me. <laughs> <laughs> Reed opts to go backwards. Gal really pressuring Jay. Not confident to shoot it from there, but good option to go to circle edge. Good to see that confidence from Reed. Yeah. Swiss management there just putting two fists up. Happy about that. Oh. Oh. What a tip. I don't doubt now players are going to start to get riled up. Oh just my saw God. some Swiss hands saying, calm down, calm down. I'm not sure I can do another quarter like this. <laughs> this is amazing. What a fight back from the Swiss links. Reed. Oh. oh, oh! she gets oh. another attempt. Goalkeeper just moving off a bit soon, I think. I love it. Morales is like, I love that one. Yeah. Reed with the rebound, and that's what we talked about. She's got a bit more height, but can't oh. quite make it sink. Lynch with the rebound this time. Cayman Islands are going to want to secure this. They are indeed. 30 seconds. Another goal here will make a difference going into the next quarter. The pressure is on Gardner. Oh, and it's up and in. 24 However, seconds. However, Swiss centre pass, 20 seconds. It's enough time. They've got enough time. Oh, oh. lovely ball. Just lifted it enough to get over the camera. Oh, Morales. Yes. Oh, Morales. Now, very cleverly not picking up the centre pass. Yeah. 22-27 goals scored for the Cayman Islands in that quarter. Ten goals scored for Switzerland. 
means we have a two goal ball oh, game no. going into the fourth. The Swiss just running off, lots of hugs there at the bench. That was an amazing turnaround by them after the second quarter to come out and put that performance out. Yeah. And at the Cayman Islands are probably now thinking, what are we going to throw at this? Because Ashley Logan came back on and she's yeah. been outstanding for yeah. them. So uh, what else have they got on their bench potentially that they can throw it at? Or do they just calm it down and run the same for the last quarter? Who knows? I mean, the Swiss are chasing. The scoreline still against them, but that's it one is. Turnover. But they're, they're on the run, aren't they? They've they've got the upper hand at this point. I think the Cayman Islands there just starting to get riled up. A couple of calls against them in the defensive circle that they weren't quite happy with, um, and that's all it takes really to tip a team. Sometimes just one or two players off off, and and away it goes really. And some great shots as well in there by Martina Morellis for oh. um, Switzerland as well gorgeous and Catherine Gow's feeding oh my goodness me yeah yeah they're working it well please do get in touch with us hashtag Europe Netball tell us what you think tell us your thoughts uh, tell us anything ask us any questions <laughs> we'd love 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 to what's hear. the weather like outside everyone <laughs> <laughs> Adele Brighton match day good luck to everyone but a special shout out to the Isle of Man Ailish Brideson, also a shout out to Jim Netball, Emirates Netball, Switzerland, Republic of Ireland, she's mentioned everyone. Everyone. That's really nice. That, that is that's what Netball is, family. yeah, that is what is lovely about these events. Everyone is so nice to each other as well. Obviously, on the court, rivals, off the court, friends. That's definitely true here. Oh, I got a controversial one. Oh. <laughs> and I'm going to throw it out there. <laughs> Isabella McQuiston um, didn't make it into a Loughborough Uni team. Loughborough, are you watching? Ooh. Are you watching? Isa McQuiston has just had the game of her life. Um, so, yeah, Loughborough Sport, that's on you. You've got to watch back that game. Oh, I wonder if we've got any Loughborough, Loughborough Uni students or coaches watching. Yeah, pressure on here. Lots of pressure on. Come on, tweet us, tell us, tell us that you're signing her up. <laughs> I'd sign her up tomorrow, she's amazing. Lots of talent on show over this weekend. Absolutely. Seeing players warm up down the other end, so there may be changes again for the Cayman Islands, or it could just be that they fancy having a bit of a shoot. Still in a huddle, the Swiss team having a chat going through them. Vanessa McCurl and Naylor, the coach for that team hopefully we will get her in comms at yeah. some point in time over the weekend yeah it's fantastic to have lots of different people from all the nations in commentary we do have someone from the Cayman Islands Janet Let Letman tomorrow as well she'll be commentating on the Malta Israel game so yeah lots of input yeah it's good to get different point of views all the time um, I mean commentating is not the easiest job so it's not as easy they might not find it as easy as standing on the bench sitting in front of a mic can be a little bit scary sometimes but it's good just to see the game through someone else's eyes always learning absolutely you can see now those players warming up bikes at the back of the court really important that the girls can all warm up before they come onto court yeah so it can keep them going if they're not on also used if they're players that don't necessarily take to court. As you said, all that adrenaline has to go somewhere. Yeah, it has to, it has to be released somewhere. There are plenty more games coming up for you, but right now on this court, we have the Cayman Islands versus Switzerland. We are locked in and ready to go with an epic final quarter. It's 22-20, the game could be anyone. It's Swiss to pull it back. It's going to be a cracker. You can hear the Swiss bells going. The crowd are cheering. We are ready. The tension is rising. I feel like we need the music. The music. Like, yeah. Come on. Lord of the Rings. Yes. <laughs> yes. But for Alma, Gandalf the Grey. She's not grey then. Oh, oh. Already a There we are. Them. They've come out. They're fired. Oh, oh no. Footwork call against Sturgis. Every time the whistle goes, we're all like... <gasps> <laughs> oh, Just get that, gets there. Oh, sinks it. 
there was a good pass because in fairness it had to go over Alma it did there have been changes I can see that I will let you know what they are oh Morellis well held oh unlucky it doesn't Gow. quite pay off Gow was well feisty I've got that that's mine Gardner has gone to wing attack Nick Nikisha Lewis has gone from goalkeeper to goal defence. Tamara Oliver comes on at goalkeeper. And Nikesha Lynch has gone to goal shooter. So from goalkeeper to goal shooter for Nikesha Lynch. I think we're finding in netball a lot, a lot more nowadays, people playing at both ends, from going from defensive keeper end to shooter. Diversity in players, it's fab. Oh, a great pinch tip by Sturgis. It came off Cayman Islands. Be interesting to know your thoughts at home on that, on this switch from shooter to keeper and keeper oh. to shooter. Unlucky there, Fister, just couldn't quite keep that one in. Ball placement wasn't quite on point there. Oh, footwork. Yep. Unfortunately, the pink trainers just gave it away. <laughs> Other colours of trainers are available. Oh, and that's the placement. Pressure. They were lucky to come away with that mm -hmm. ball. She gonna shoot it? She is. Of course she yes. is. This is the youngster from Switzerland, Morales. You're seeing her here. Just the confidence to step on court against people, possibly even double her age, and just sink those shots. Definitely more than double her age. She's still so young. Yeah. Just think how bright the future is for Honestly. Switzerland. Lovely front cut. And this is the one she wants, not being marked, to lift. Yep. Boom. She's practiced that at home for sure. Back to a two-goal game, so the good work that the Cayman Islands did right at the beginning just being eroded in that passage of play contact there against Sturgis shot nice lovely ball finds Pascalina offside They Frust could do with turning this over here, the Swiss. Frustrating, I'm sure. 25-22 at the moment to the Cayman Islands. This to make it out to four. Be interesting to see if Lynch shoots. She doesn't opt to. Logan. Off balance, puts it down. Lovely shot, goes. pushes it back to four. Fair centre pass. Oh, the foot was partially in the goal third when she jumped for that. Yeah, makes it not received. Lovely drive, not quite circle edge though. Yeah, you yeah. can't pass that ball over Nikesha. Especially when you're not on the circle edge. That one, however. Yeah. Some clever changes here, it looks like, by Lynette for the Cayman Islands. Yeah, and we're back to five. And it's no easy feat to pull that back. There's the one oh. they're playing for, they're playing for it. And they're falling into the trap, Switzerland. Yeah. And it is a trap. You don't see the arms until they just stretch out and grab the ball. Great defence to make the yeah, shooters look open. <laughs> nice quick hand yeah. between Gardner and so cool, calm and collected there in the shooter position. She knew she didn't want to shoot first time. Turn, passed it out. 
the gap grows to six. We've seen the Swiss make changes when those gaps have grown. It'll be interesting to see if they make any changes now. Oh, just a drop of the shoulders there by Morellis. They're going to get back into this game. This is crucial. Yes. I think they know that. Just working the ball until they can find a spot. Yeah, Jay not happy, and rightly so, to pass it over the top. She wants her shooters to work to get that front position. Oh, a little hand out in front there. We've seen this before. Oh! Oh, I think it's going to stay in the Swiss possession though. Came off the Cayman Islands. Oh, oh again. no. Third time for Lynch. Sorry, Lewis. And again, a lovely feed by Gao. Just connecting so well with Lynch. Yeah. And Lynch has been key actually, hasn't she? Moving up yeah. from defence position into attack. Oh, we've got a time call here. I think there's just one change in the wing attack position. No, wing defence wing position. Defense. Twenty-nine, twenty-two. it could be for resting purposes yeah we could be confident with the squad out that that's potentially the win in the bag for them we know it can change it any way but they do seem very strong in this flow every player that's come on the court from the Cayman Islands has been has been of, of great athleticism substance they've all been great I'm sure they have confidence in their whole bench um, and just happy to make those fluid changes on and off Born von Lanthan Dinana. Interesting one. I'm not sure I'm not whether sure that was the wing attack. I think potentially it looked like Sturgis, not Sturgis, sorry, Jay that had been offside, but I think it was actually Morellis. They just look very similar. Footwork pull there, brings it back. Swiss so links just needing to not make those unforced errors at this point in the game, really. They're working so hard, aren't they, to get they the turnover? Are. They really are. Goal stands there. Cayman Islands centre pass brings the 30 up. I love it, Morales is like, I'll get the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Logan. Step. She gets the rebound though, follows her shot. Yeah, and in it goes. She's calm and collected, isn't she, on that shot? That looks like a calf. Teammate just giving her a little rub down there on court. And she's like, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Bit lower. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Possibly a cramp. Yeah, and they're not nice. Some changes here for yeah. Switzerland. I do believe we see Julia Dufresne coming on at centre. And a change oh. an attack as well. Yeah. Wing attack is Romy Lee, I do believe. Ooh. She's going to get another chance, though. Ooh, not without a, a great lean over the top of that ball. Still sinks it, though. 31 22. Oh. 
Gals down, gals up. Oh, oh, so close, Alma. So close. She's still smiling. She is. <laughs> yeah, and a fist pump as well. She was like, damn, but I'm having fun. And that's the main thing. Wide born. Lovely out by Morales. Yeah. Romy Lee. Oh, oh no. It's unlucky. Oh, great take. It's a long oh. one. Oh, what vision. And it gets her. Well done. Sinks it. Really good vision on that pass. Yeah. Cayman Islands are putting their foot down. They are indeed. Caution for ride born in wing defence, persistent obstruction. I'm it's difficult sure. that just when you're trying to put the pressure on and you can feel your feet creeping closer and closer. Just need to keep the discipline, keep your distance. I'm not sure she'll be too worried with four minutes left. No. Lovely ball. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh it got there. Gets there. Lucky. Oh, unlucky oh. by Morales. Just that bouncing post syndrome. We've seen it at both ends. The curse of the post. <laughs> oh, lovely play by the Cayman Islands. Just using that triangle into the front ball. The Cayman Islands have absolutely stepped it up this quarter. They have. Some superb netball. It's almost like they just took a while. Oh. Alma at the back. She takes it so smoothly that you don't even know it's happened. <laughs> That's because it's magic. It's her wizard magic. <laughs> I'd like to know where she's hiding that cape, <laughs> her cloak. Shots. She almost looks surprised as well, isn't she? She's like, oh, it went in. <laughs> Such a good little player. Oh, just a quick twitch of the ankle there. Oh, good hands by Gout. Oh. 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 Everyone on the floor now. Time. In fairness, I think that might well be cramp. Yeah. And that fair play, she's been doing quite a few court sprints. Gout. She has indeed. Just telling her, her teammate, push it, push it further, push it further. Yeah, and with like two minutes 40 left, it is... Um, game in the bag pretty much for the Cayman Islands so she's done a stint she's done a, a really good job so I'm sure they'll just put someone on now to replace her just for the next two minutes and 41 seconds she's not coming off court as of yet I think it's trying to oh. walk it's oh. so hard cramp sometimes yeah. isn't it yeah <laughs> she's just struggling to get out of oh no But fantastic game between these two. Nothing yeah. in it at three-quarter time. Just no. unfortunate for Switzerland that that scoreline has now run out a little bit for them. Um, but again, all players taken to court, which yeah. is really key, isn't it, in these first games? It's so key. And they've got so many young players over it with the Swiss links. And I know that they're just building and building and building. And getting those young players on to get the exposure is exactly what they need. And also, for those young players, gaining their caps, their, their open caps, is just a huge achievement. Lovely to see all of them clapping Catherine Gower, Swiss and Cayman Islands players. Rightly so. Lovely shot. shot. She's happy with that one, a little skip after it goes through the net. Well done, Reed. it was just offside there two hands went over yeah you're absolutely right oh. 
<laughs> Nearly Sturgis. Yeah. Logan's been great this game as well, hasn't she? Yes, the phenomenal. She came off, was it in the second, with a hand injury, and she's come back, and you, you wouldn't even, you wouldn't have even known. No. So consistent. Very. Offside. Reed steps up. It's a pass. She's gonna have to yeah. move the ball. Oh yeah, foot just offside there. Oh, good spot. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> good spot by the umpire. <laughs> Umpiring over this weekend as well so far has been phenomenal. I have to say, I know coaches often get rowdy on the benches, but they've been really, really consistent. Great. And this is the second game that uh, Nadine Pardo has run yeah. out. So. 60 minutes of court sprints for her, followed by 60 minutes of court sprints for her. Yeah, plus the mental battle she's probably having, keeping focus on everything, twitching her eyes from left to right. So yeah, big up Team White there. They also reserve the games as well. So I'm not sure if she's reserving any more later on this evening, but still a phenomenal effort. Oh, good pick up. Oh, looking for a backup option. There wasn't quite one there, but they they make it through and forward to circle edge again. Lovely. Oh, opens up beautifully yeah. on the goal line. Great shot. 25 seconds, 22 seconds. I'm sure they'll sink this one. They'll want to finish the game on a high. Contact pull there. There's enough time for them more. The defence do enough. That is the end of the game. 37 goals, Cayman Islands, 25 to Switzerland. That makes that quarter a massive 15 goals for the Cayman Islands. Yeah. Those five goals for Switzerland. Big quarter for them. That was a big quarter. They just came on all guns firing. Uh, they knew what they had to do, they knew their objective and they finished it. I've got to say, I've been really impressed by their shooters and how cool, collected and calm they were to just sink those shots. And again, we've, we've mentioned it the whole way through this match, but defensively on both ends from the Swiss links and the Cayman Islands, just phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. Still lots of smiles all the way around for yeah. both teams, which is really nice to see. Lovely to see this now in the middle, all together doing their three cheers. Don't forget, there are lots more matches. <laughs> We've only just started, so we still have for you Republic of Ireland versus Malta at five o'clock, so very soon on this very court. We've seen both of these teams play already, so it's going to be amazing to see how they match up to each other now. And then the UAE take on Israel at seven o'clock. So don't go anywhere. We're also back very soon with the coaches and teams. A massive thank you to uh, Lauren Brown for being here. Thank in you for having me. And um, your job isn't done today yet either. You've done no. it. No, I'm off now to go and help hype up that team, that all important job we were talking about um, before we face Israel later. Absolutely. Uh, so stay where you are. Coaches interviews coming up.
I'm here with Lyneth from um, Cayman Islands. Difficult start, but a great finish to that game. It certainly was. Um, we've had a hiatus from 2019, so this is our first international game since that time. So it certainly has, was a tremendous game, and I'm really proud of the ladies. We recognise some of the players from last time and some really good coaching decisions as well, especially that last one mixing up your shooters. It just seemed to really pay off. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, when we were training, we decided to mix defence with shoot, just in case, because you know a defensive shooter is a better shooter. So yes, I had that option so that I could put in. And the Swiss, Swiss team really bought it to you as well. Was there a time there where you were a bit nervous that it might go the other way? I think first quarter when we were a little unsettled, so we had to find our feet and get used to their style of play. So yes, a little, what do I do as a coach? How do I change? What changes do I make? So not nervous, but looking to see what um, I would do in terms of changing the game. Absolutely, and some, some big games coming up for you. You've seen Gibraltar probably in the Isle of Man play against each other, and that was a cracker before this, this game. Um, any changes coming up for that game? Any tactics you want to share with us? So, not really, but we'll go back and discuss this game and look at things that we need to work on for tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a two-game um, day for us, so it will be quite challenging. So, we will go back to the drawing table to see what we need to do, what we need to change for tomorrow. Absolutely. Well, very well done and good luck for tomorrow. And thank you. So, that was Lynette from the Cayman Islands and now I have Vanessa McCurl and Naila. I'm just pulling her over from Switzerland. Wow, what a game. You had us on the edge of our seats as well, all the way into the fourth. Must be a little bit disappointed with the end. Well, the scores, you know, one thing, but the girls have hit so many of the targets and goals that they were set, and it was fantastic. So, yeah, really proud of everybody. It was amazing play from, from both ends, from the defence and the attack. Um, but Morellis, come on, what a girl. Unbelievable, yeah, fantastic. Little... You know, I think she maybe just turned 15. She's a star of the future, definitely, as are some of the others. You've got quite a young squad out there today, is that right? We have, yeah, very young squad, um, very inexperienced. A lot of them taking the first senior cap, but um, some of them haven't even done an under-17 cap either. So um, really good to get everybody on court and some young legs, yeah. And Lots it, of potential. And games contesting like that, goal for goal, up until the third quarter, that's fantastic experience, isn't it? Uh, it was brilliant. It was just lovely to see and to just get so close, yeah. That th up until the third quarter, yeah, it could have been. Well, really well done. Two big Thank games you. for you tomorrow. Anything yes. changing moving into those two? Well, we'll have a flight tonight and we'll have a look. We'll see. Probably. They won't give me any insight. <laughs> They're being really sneaky, these coaches. Really well done, Vanessa. Thank big you. hugs to all the team. Well done. All right. Thanks very much. So that is it for that game. That's it for Group A today. We have Group B coming back on court for you very, very shortly. Two more fantastic games coming up. If you've missed the ones before, go back and watch them because they've been absolute crackers. Stay where you are. We'll be back shortly.